What's going on everybody? Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you're having an awesome day out there. Today we're gonna to be doing another lead code problem. So let's take a look at what we have here today. So the problem is called evaluate reverse Polish notation and is, is a lead code medium problem. And the problem states that evaluate the value of an arithmetic expression in reverse Polish notation. Valid operators are plus, minus, multiplication, and division. Each operand may be an integer or another expression. Note, division between two integers should truncate towards zero. Okay, so uh, Java's integer, integer division should handle that. The given RPN expression is always valid. That means the expression would always evaluate to a result and there won't be any divide by zero operation. Uh, so just real quick, if you don't know what reverse Polish notation is, it's basically the notation where you have your first, you have your two expressions first, and then you have the operand after. So you would have something like two, and then you would have a four, and then a plus. This would be two plus four, four and this expression would evaluate to six. So as you know, uh, before I jump into the code, I always like to uh, draw a diagram and see how we can solve it before we even write anything. Um, so let's go ahead and do that now. All right, so I went ahead and wrote out the example two here. So we have four, 13, five, division, and a plus. So how we wanna approach this problem is we wanna go left to right. And the problem that we have is we don't know when we're gonna run into an operand. So, you know, we have a four and a 13, but then we also have a five after that, and then we have our division. So we know once we get to our division, we want to do this operation on the previous two numbers. Um, so the best way to do this is using a first in last out data structure, um, like a stack. So what we could do here is if we draw our stack here, we see that, okay, we get to our four here. Uh, it's not an operand, so let's just throw it in our stack. Next, we get to our 13, again, a number, not an operand, so let's go ahead and put it in our stack. Next, we get to our five. Again, I wanna put it in here. Then we get to a division. So at this point, what we wanna do is we want to perform this division on the previous two numbers. Well, we have them saved here in our stack. So what we can do is simply pop these two numbers off. So we'll have a five and a 13. And we'll have a 13 divided by five, which if we're doing integer division, um, we're just gonna get a two in here. So once we get that, we wanna just put this number back in our stack. Finally, we get to uh, addition. And then we see, um, we, we know we wanna do it on the previous two numbers. Um, and what we can do here is we can go and look at the two numbers on our stack. So it's gonna be a two. So we're gonna pop that off and then we're gonna pop off the four and it's gonna be an addition and it's gonna be a six. And then finally we wanna put our six back in here since we don't know we're done yet. So we'll have a six here. And then once we end this loop here, the last thing we wanna do is just pop off the value and six is gonna be our answer here. So with that approach, let's go ahead and see what the code looks like. All right, so the first thing we need to do is create our stack. So the next thing we need to do is to go through every token and check whether it is an operand or an expression. Uh, I'm sorry, an integer. So if it's an integer, then we know that we can just throw it onto the stack, and then when we reach an operand, that's when we need to actually do the expression. So let's go ahead and create the for loop. And I'm feeling a little fancy today, so I'm gonna go ahead and use a switch statement. All right, so we're gonna have our four cases where we have an operand, and then we're gonna have our default, which is a, um, an integer that we put into the stack. Okay, so let's go ahead and do the default case since that's the easy one. We're just going to do stack.push tokens i. And since this is actually going to be a string, we want to do have integer dart parse 
int, which takes a string and converts it into an integer. Now we simply need to handle our four cases. And remember for subtraction and division, the, the order that we pop off of the stack is gonna be basically flipped when we do the subtraction or the division. So let's go ahead and make two variables for that. So we first wanna pop and then we wanna do our uh, expression. All right, and we wanna do the same thing for division. So I'm just gonna copy that and paste it there. And change that to division. All right, and then the multiplication case, we can just copy this one. All right, and then once we break out of the for loop, we simply want to return stack dot pop because the last value that we have is going to be our answer so let's go ahead and run that and we have an error here because we forgot a parentheses go ahead and run that all right let's go ahead and submit and see what we get and we get a success all right so runtime 91%, which is really good, and memory usage of 98%, which is also very good. All right, that's gonna be all for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys learned something. Um, as always, please, uh, you know, please like the video. Uh, please subscribe if you haven't, it would mean a lot. And um, yeah, that's gonna be all. Thank you guys for watching, and I will see you next time.